Thank you for tuning in to Miran Now. Our top focus at this point of time, former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia is in judicial custody till the 20th of March and he will be questioned by the Enforcement Directorate today in connection to alleged Delhi excise policy scam. That is the latest uh, breaking news coming in. My colleague Bhavtosh joins us to give us more details on this. Bhavtosh, take us through the developments coming in as far as uh, Manish Sisodia's uh, judicial custody is concerned. He will be questioned by the ED in the connection to the Delhi excise policy scam. Well, as far as uh, the case is concerned, remember the Enforcement Directorate had registered a case of uh, money laundering uh, uh, way back in uh, in August of last year. And since then, uh, ED had made several arrests in this case, uh, including some very high-profile, prominent businessmen. They have also filed two prosecution uh, complaints, which is akin to a charge sheet. Uh, they also claim, the agency claims, that the total proceeds of crime in this case is a whopping 2,830 crore rupees. And they have said that a cartel of... Uh, South Group uh, had uh, uh, allegedly paid a kickback of around 100 crore rupees through Vijay Nair, this uh, through uh, Dinesh Arora, this kickback in fact had gone to uh, 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 to, uh, Vijay, uh, to Vijay Nair and then subsequently a portion of that was used in Goa election. Though that charge has been vehemently denied by Aam Admi Party, but uh, ED has been an agency that has been uh, taking lead in this case. Yesterday, in a surprise development, the CBI surrendered the custody of uh, of Manish Sisodia. Uh, then the court sent him to judicial custody. What we are uh, learning from from our sources is that enforcement directorate today will be questioning Manish Sisodia inside the hard jail. Now this is a big development as far as this case is concerned. ED uh, questioning Manish Sisodia inside the hard jail means that the questioning can last for two or three days. The agency after questioning can arrest uh, Manish Sisodia. Though there is no confirmation to this effect but remember uh, in various prosecution complaint as well as in remand note it has been mentioned that Manish Sisodia had destroyed uh, uh, his mobile phone handsets or his IMAI numbers, used multiple SIM cards. So there is uh, a lot of, uh, 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 one can say a lot of uh, 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 evidence against Manish Sisodia, at least on in the charge sheet against Manish Sisodia. His name has been mentioned, but he was never summoned as far as this uh, high-profile case is concerned. The very fact that today ED will be going to Tihar jail and questioning him is a very uh, big development as far as this uh, case is concerned.